Hello there again, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Cool Spot. I hate you so much. <laughs> oh, but don't you look forward to a tall glass of delicious 7-Up? <laughs> I hate 7-Up. Anyway, yeah, you see that coin floating over the barbed wire here? That's going to be a recurring theme in this level. This level likes hiding coins above hazards. And oh, there are these... Yay. Yeah, see, there's another one. Yeah, there are uh, mice in pyjamas who poke out of the holes and throw cheese at you. Giggity. Yeah, we're not going to question it. And there's another really obnoxious thing about this level too. Um, you see those pipes in the background? Yeah. Well, they're not always in the background. I'm <laughs> Look at this fun coin placement right here. <laughs> right between the uh. spikes. Um, fuck it. <laughs> But yeah, these pipes aren't always in the background, sometimes they go into the foreground. Oh, fuck off, game, seriously, you're gonna make yeah. me get these coins. Um, what is good though is if you know the position of the mice, you can actually um, aim upwards and shoot them through beneath the floor. Oh, that's fair enough. And you can do it through the walls as well, like here. So, it makes it a little bit easier. This is actually um, one of the easier levels in the game, to be fair. Well, the laws of physics never apply to anything in this, one. So. Yeah, true. These mouse traps are annoying. If you step on them from the right side, uh, they fling you up into the air, but if you step on them from the wrong side, they hurt you. So, Wonderful. Yeah. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, like that pipe there, pipes aren't always in the background, sometimes they're in the foreground. And this uh, level begins a horrible trend of hiding coins behind them. Oh yay! So any so fun. Anytime you see a pipe, you have to jump aimlessly up and down behind the pipe in the vague hope that you'll collect the coin. It's like learning to pole dance. I wouldn't know. <laughs> <laughs> no, please continue. Share us your stories. Inquiring minds want to know. <laughs> Maybe I'll save it for another time. Uh, I really hate the spiders in this level, I'll say that, because the spiders are... Look, if, you, if they're not in front of one of the pipes, then they're kind of hard to spot, to be honest. If they're just against the mm. black background, they blend in. And there was a coin behind that pipe, and another coin behind that pipe. Fucking camouflage is good. Yeah. Although, to be fair, this is one of the less obnoxious levels, so... It's bearable, I guess. <laughs> the next one, though. Woo -hoo -hoo. Oh, yeah, I can't uh, wait. Oh, I'm sure you can. <laughs> oh, God. No, really, I love this game. It's just... <laughs> oh, orgasm it. <laughs> it's okay, I've got a game planned for after this, and that one's actually good, so... <laughs> Although it's a long one, so I'm not gonna have you here for every part. I'm sorry. <laughs> Oops, okay. <laughs> I'm not really recording anything at the moment. No, please, sounds more heartbroken. Please. <laughs> Why? Because you're abandoning me for your girlfriend. No, she's not going to be in it either. Yeah. Unless we get really bored. <laughs> I thought she wanted to do it, that's fine. Yeah, she did, but I've got something else planned for her, and I don't know. Oh, that really fucked me off. The health potion's over there, and I can't get uh, it. <laughs> that really fucked me off. dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, um, you might remember in the first part, uh, well, you probably don't, uh, I told you that if you fall from a high place and he does that little face plant animation, yeah. he'll get up and they get hurt again. This level's really annoying with that, because if you land on the needles, or on the barbed wire, or on the mouse traps, or on any of the other fucking things that are trying to kill you, mm. then you lose health quite quickly. And this is another maze, if you couldn't tell already. Oh, no shit. <laughs> Annoyingly, all of the checkpoints are actually um, in pointless areas, they're in dead ends. So, the way that you have to go only contains one checkpoint. Yay! <laughs> Fun times are to be had by all. <laughs> I'd have hated this game, this game. I'd, I'd have hated it more than that awful mummy game. Yeah, I mean, when I was a kid, I didn't mind this one that much. <laughs> I didn't actually know that it had anything to do with 7-Up. Um, Oh yeah, the health potion spawned on top of me there, I wasn't complaining. Uh, mm. But looking at this right now, I mean, where are we exactly? We're in what looks like a rabbit hutch. Um, I think we're inside someone's house. I, I don't really know what's going on here, but we're somewhere. Um, mm. And we're killing mice in pyjamas that are throwing cheese, there are black widow spiders that crawl on the ceiling. A bit like Australia. <laughs> <laughs> this level is Australia, <laughs> just the whole of Australia. <laughs> what happens? <laughs> but like I was gonna say, look at this. 
What does this have to do with 7-Up? <laughs> what does this have to do with getting shit tons of money? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Oh, I mean, the, uh, the main reason I chose this game was because you, you made me do M&Ms and I, I wanted to do a cashing game of my own. So I thought, what, what, <laughs> what's the cashing game I played when I was a kid? This. But if you look at it, this really doesn't have anything to do with 7-Up. Mm. I mean, at least in Shell Shocked. You know, you you're getting taken to the M and M's factory, yeah. and they're making M and M's, and there's all these chocolate puns. This doesn't even have any soda puns. There's no puns on Seven oh Up. No jokes. There's no there's no story whatsoever. It's just a game. You just play it. So that's one of the parts where the mouse trap's yeah. actually useful. Um, well, I have to put you through uh, M and M's. Fucking mouse trap. <laughs> um, but language, Timothy. <laughs> <laughs> this game just, uh, it didn't try, is the problem. There's not even a, it's not one of those games where, um, the story's all in the manual. You, no. you know, some games did that, where, like, they don't yeah. actually tell you the story in the manual. Like, um, Fancy World Dizzy didn't tell you that your friends have been kidnapped by the Troll yeah. King, that was in the manual. This doesn't even do that. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> it's just, your friends have been kidnapped, go save them. And there's no coherence to the levels, it goes, beach. And then, what was this at? Beach, ship, rabbit, hutch, house thing, and then inside someone's pool? What? Oh, <laughs> There's no coherence here. There's just, this game doesn't have anything to do with 7 Up. I don't know why it was made. It's just. <laughs> confusing game. Oh. Um, one slightly. Uh, well, one thing I wanted to bring up. Fucking sound effects. <laughs> this game is an annoying noise machine. Uh, do you remember in the bonus levels you collect the uh, the uncola letters? Yeah. Um, how they work is for every letter you get, you get a continue. Um, and I don't know if having all of the letters when you beat the game gives you anything. So I'm gonna tr I'm gonna um. Well, I'm gonna save states come in the bonus levels uh, to get the bonus letters, but I don't know if they do anything or not. I'm just doing it for my own morbid curiosity. Um, so, do you have to cut that bit out? Did you get <laughs> lost? Yes, <laughs> yes, I did get lost. <laughs> Shut up! Ah, uh, you suck. <laughs> it was about two minutes of aimless wandering. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Be quiet. Fucking health potion made me fall. Um, I get back up there and it's just gone. When I'm not being an insomniac, I'm gonna put you so much shit game. <laughs> uh, but yeah, like I was saying, um, so I want to see if getting all the uncola letters gets you anything. Um, but when you use a continue, basically what it does is it has a little screen where he comes on and he pushes the letter off the screen and you get the continue. Um, and it leaves an after image, but I don't know if that counts as losing the letter. So, uh, like, if I if I collect the letter and then use the continue, does that kind of get rid of the letter, or do I still technically have it? Uh, I've no idea. I think you're not going too deep into this. <laughs> no, I'm not going too deep. It's just because <laughs> I've left myself in a bit of a. Are bad... you meandering around the game? Because I believe we've been through this shit before. <laughs> no, I wanted that coin. <laughs> um, Jesus. Give me a break. <laughs> no. <laughs> but my question is, uh, can I actually continue, or do I have to get through the whole game without continuing? Because um, I ended this recording with no lives, oh. um, and level five is really <laughs> something else, so... <laughs> It's not like Tarzan where you can just go back and get a shit ton of lives. No, we can't. I might have to um, actually just play through the game again and get up to the point where I was. Which wouldn't be that because I, if I wasn't recording it, then I could just save state scum. So it wouldn't be that bad. Um, but, ooh, level 5 is uh, certainly interesting. Let, let's call it that. <laughs> oh, God. I just want this to be it's such a mind numbingly dull <laughs> game. <laughs> Awful. <laughs> People like this, like, if you look, there aren't many videos of this on YouTube, there's a few, not many. Um, it's not as obscure as Atomic Runner, because I looked up Atomic Runner and I found about six videos. Um, mm. 
But if you look up, then um, if you look up Cool Spot on YouTube, all of the videos I found were positive. I'm gonna find these people in Hartley. <laughs> and I did, just out of curiosity, look up a couple of reviews for the game, um, and I only found one negative review. All the rest, uh, all the other reviews were just stuff saying, "Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a good platforming. You should play it. Like, it's fun." No, give me a reason. And I found one review that actually went into detail, and he, he, he ripped the game a new one. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it was Yazi Croshaw reviewing it then. It wasn't, but I really want to hope it was. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Yazi Croshaw. Actually, when is, when is um, their next Let's Play being uploaded? You go on Escapist, have they said anything? No. No. Because it's not an Escapist thing, it's just... Yeah, no, no. Yancy being bored. I thought it... Oh yeah, look, there's a mouse trap right in front of the fucking cage and it killed me. <laughs> I didn't realise I only had one hit left. <laughs> this is just... <laughs> I feel ill. <laughs> Oh, it's dear. just so wrong. <laughs> it is a bit, isn't it? it? Just it's something that should have never been. Yeah. Just a, a completely wasted creation of the universe. And I only got ninety nine coins there, but I had enough time to get the one up. So yay. Well, make you do break out just to get revenge. <laughs> All right, you see those uh those metal things, those metal mm. bollocks. Yeah, those are mines. These are going to be yeah. in every bonus level from now on, and every bonus level after the second one is excruciatingly difficult. And the irritating thing with these bonus levels is that if... Well, you don't need to get 100% in a level to get the extra life, you just need to get enough. Whereas in the bonus levels, you need to get everything. So... Uh, these bonus levels are really something else. And look, time's almost up, and I've only got 47. Jesus. Um, these bonus levels are probably the most annoying part of the game, because, like I said, I, I want the extra lives, but am I really willing to play these to get them? Uh, anyway. It's... Can you guess how long I was playing this bonus level for? Ooh, couple of hours. Uh, not a couple of hours, no, but I was playing this one bonus level for 20 minutes. Yay! Solidly. Ooh. <laughs> I, I did throw a tantrum there, I'm not gonna lie. I had to put the game down for a few minutes. I got too annoyed. It's like the other day I got really annoyed while uh, playing a game and smashed my hand into the side of a wall. Good job. And now I think I've bruised the bone. <laughs> what game is it? Uh, Crusader Kings. I know that game. What do I know that game from? Uh, me and my housemate keep playing because we're really geeky and historic. Oh, that, that's it, yeah. No, I knew the name, I just didn't know it was that game. I'm kind of tempted to play just for the novelty. I wouldn't have a clue what I was fucking doing. Just no. so it's fun. It would amuse me. Well... And you get to laugh at my, uh... Amazing historical nor knowledge. Norwich. Norwich. <laughs> oh, saying that reminds me of uh, this really. Yeah, I got the I got the extra time, so I'm not dead yet. Um, well, I remember this distinctly when I was in school. Um, a very very basic geography question, um, and I claimed that the Vikings came from Norwich. Oh, <laughs> and that's really. I meant Norway. <laughs> I said Norwich, I just, uh, that was the kind of kid I was when I was in school, I just had no grasp of anything. <sighs> <laughs> and to be honest now, geography is still my weakest subject by a long way, I just, I don't remember where anything is in the world. Yeah, geography is one of my worst subjects. <laughs> How close is Spain to France? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, I don't understand. Uh, oh, that oh, bonus level was damn. painful. But yeah, see, this is what I mean. If he pushes the letter away, it leaves a gold after image. But I don't know if that still counts as me having the letter. So, uh... Yeah, it's gonna be interesting when I continue recording this. Ooh, this level! Um... Oh, god damn. Okay, uh, where do I begin? When you jump, cool spot goes that high that you can't see the platforms anymore. Yeah, <laughs> That's the biggest fuck you! 
Falling in the water is instant death. You see how that frog was stood no, on the um. Fuck off. You see how that frog stood on the base of that yellow thing. You can't jump down there. Because fuck we... off. <laughs> yes. Such a piece of shit. And look, there's a frog on that lily pad that you can only barely see if you inch yourself over to the corner. That's such uh, a piece of dick. The biggest problem here is how high he jumps. He jumps like he's on the moon. And if you try and do a small jump by just tapping the button, then he just... he won't make it because he doesn't get enough distance. So you have to make the full jump and you just can't ah! see the platforms. What even is this? <laughs> ah! <laughs> And these uh, these UFOs, as you can see, they uh, drop when you stand on them. I don't know why there are UFOs here, but they are. Uh, and I forgot to mention when I was in the bonus level, um, these uh, mini bubbles have started appearing. They're called soapy bubbles by the game. Mm -hmm. And if you get in a soapy bubble, you get stuck and you will float upwards like that. Wonderful. And there's a little trick you can do where if you jump out just as it's about to burst, you get extra height for some reason. These UFOs can fuck right off because they drop so quickly and there are times when you'll jump on them before they dip and it will count as if you've just missed the platform. No, 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 no it doesn't. Oh, oh. such a piece of faggotry. Oh, this level. <laughs> okay, how this level is structured is it has three layers going vertically upwards and you see how I just dropped down and collected a bunch of coins? Mm. I think that's about 16 coins there. You have to do that twice, mm. where you have to drop. You have to drop from the second tier, and you have to drop from the third tier, and then climb all the way back up again. So Mark, how was your weekend? <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I thought about cutting this part out, and you then I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> and then I decided not to. No, there's a reason I decided not to. I quit from Yahtzee, why didn't you speed this up, man? <laughs> oh god. Okay, no, there's a reason I didn't speed it up, because, like, this is part of the level. This isn't me fucking up. Like, I do fuck up a couple of times, but the game, if you want to get 100% in this level, makes you drop. You have to drop twice, at the very least, to get all the fucking dots in the game, and it's just... It's horrible! To be fair, that is fairly obnoxious, and I think the people who think this is a good game should be shown how obnoxious this fucking thing is. Yeah, I think we need to spread the word. I think we need to make this video go viral. We will be the next, uh... Oh, no, 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 no! Ah... Aha! Ah <laughs> that happens to me a lot in this level, actually. I love how the, love how the lily pads change in perspective uh, as well. Oh. <laughs> it's just like, what, am I still jumping forwards? <laughs> I can't tell anymore what's going on with this game. And I get that a few times where I, where I fall and I'm somehow able to guide myself onto a lily pad because I had to play this level a lot. Cox! <laughs> as you say that, as you die. Yep. See? Um, Fucking wank nuts. <laughs> oh no, no, no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Barely made that one. See, now here's the thing. Okay, you're the cool spot, right? Yes, we are the you're cool from, spot. You're from a um, a liquid beverage. <laughs> we come from Soda Land. <laughs> you come from a liquid beverage. Your weapons what happened are to my jump Your there? weapons are bubbles. What happened to my jump there, by the way? Because I, I did that, and I jumped out of the bubble, and then it just got stuck in midair for a second. <laughs> Your, I continue. <laughs> your weapons are bubbles, but water kills you instantly. <laughs> what is the cool spot, anyway? Am I literally, like, the piece of laminated paper from I the 7-Up bottle? I don't know, if it's laminated, then you're surviving water. Uh, oh, fair point. Yeah, you're bringing science into the 7-Up game. <laughs> it's so boring. <laughs> Oh, I was like, you get really used to this background after a while. Like, there were a few times where I fell. fish in the background. <laughs> All three of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we can copy paste our backgrounds. <laughs> oh, there were a few times though when I fell off and I'm just like, okay, okay, the lily pad is next to the dock that's under the balloon. Ah, <laughs> oh, like in the surfboards where it's right next to each other. It's the same design. <laughs> the exact same thing. Just nothing different at all. Sweet Jesus fuck. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> I love as well how um 
the way this this like what what are we in? Are we in a uh, inflatable pool like a pool floaty? I don't even know. I, I, I would. Oh, I remember those. I'm nostalgic. But think about it. We're jumping on lily pads inside this. How big is this pool floaty? If we're jumping on actual lily pads. Because cool spot the, is the bigger question is is why are kids playing with lily pads? Hey, hey, we saw in levels one and two, well, level one and three, that cool spot is the size of a crab and f fucking level. The <laughs> cool spot. Oh! <laughs> we saw that cool spot is the size of a crab and a mouse. So this must be a pretty fucking big pool. Like no way, man. <laughs> oh, I totally did. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it's like having a fucking seizure or an orgasm. Oh, I guess so. I, I, looking back on this is annoying me. I can't even. I was so. This fucked actually off. amuses me more because you're fucking annoyed. This I game was now so as well. fucked off doing this game. But goddamn it, I've started it, so I'm gonna finish it. Yeah. It should be a. Uh, Another two or three parts, hopefully. Wow, a let's play we're going to finish. <laughs> hey, we did, we did Atomic Runner. Um, this actually uh, brings up a nice segue, uh, something I wanted to ask you about. I rewatched the Atomic Runner let's play uh, recently. You remember the first episode, which I was really depressed about, because the, the audio was complete bollocks. Yeah, I, I took that episode down, I re-uploaded it, I fixed the audio. Cool. But I rewatched the let's play. I'm not very happy with it. I don't think it turned out well. Um, oh no, tell me we're not doing it again. No, no, we're not going to do it again. That's good. Um, but what I was considering doing is uh, taking all of the episodes, putting them together so that it's just one long thing, mm. and maybe just commenting over it myself and redoing it. What do you think about that? Or you could do it with me if you wanted to. It'd be the whole game in one video, um, so it'd be um, about an hour. I guess that's okay. I'm just not happy with how it turned out. I just I looked back over it and I think a lot of it was just I don't know. There was something that didn't work. Yeah, that's fair enough, man. Um and I'm not happy with it, but I might leave those old videos up there anyway, just as a kind of reminder of what not to do. Yeah. Don't worry, this level's almost over, by the way. <laughs> I'm, I'm liking the duck in the corner, the grey duck with red blocks. Yeah, the grey duck with measles. <laughs> hey, I finally made some progress, I collected a coin. Yeah, and got hit by an enemy. <laughs> I don't care, I'm near, the, I'm near the end now. This is probably the easiest level in the game to um, get 100% on, but look, they make you drop down right in front of the cage. Dicks. <laughs> Luckily, there's a bubble there to pick you back up, but you could very easily miss that bubble. So many dicks. <laughs> Giant flaming dicks. It's like Spartacus, Blood and Sam. We've been watching that recently. I need to watch that, actually. There's just dicks everywhere. Every time I hear Blood on the Sand, though, I just keep thinking of 50 Cent. <laughs> and then I imagine 50... no. I just think of Sex on the Beach. The Martini <laughs> or the Act? <laughs> pick. <laughs> uh, this year I plan on celebrating the first of May Olympics. Look it up if you don't know what that is. <laughs> Your face. <laughs> I think I just died inside. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. I'm gonna be honest. I gave up on this bonus level. This bonus level beat me. This one broke me. Um, like I break you regularly. <laughs> in your fucking dreams. <laughs> you keep telling yourself that, son, and uh, we'll get back to you. <laughs> oh, Is this it so surprising that I'm the top? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, man. <laughs> Living up to the apathetic cowgirl nickname. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't know how one of those. <laughs> oh, you'd be surprised. I'd be surprised where my stories get, huh? <laughs> But yeah, it's a, mutually <laughs> assured destruction, my friend. <laughs> Some of the uh, stories I've shared on your channel. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about those on here, though. No. Oh, this bonus level. Yeah, this one is a lot. Look! There's, f like, eight fucking mines in front of the letter, and they're still expecting me to get over there and collect it. I just can't I just gave up in the end. I was like, right, just jump through them. Mm. But I gave up getting 100% in this bonus level because it's just... The layout is so horrible. Remember, this game has a lot of tiers where they kind of structure things vertically. Mm. So they'll have like one one level, then another level above that, like a car park. 
This bonus level does that, but it has six levels. My mind's me a bit of Loco Roco. Actually, yeah, I can see that. I can get the Loco Roco thing. I liked Loco Roco, it was a good game. Yeah, Loco Roco 2 wasn't very good. But... Yeah, I, he I heard some uh, bad comments about that one. The best thing about it was there was a purple blob now. <laughs> Yay. That's it. <laughs> Oh dear, I fucked up there because I accidentally shot the bubbles. Maybe I could have gotten a higher score otherwise, but oh well. <laughs> oh my god, you suck! Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and also, I didn't want to risk dying, someone one hit. So I thought, yeah, okay, I'll just take 88, whatever. No, 88, 87, so I missed that one. <sighs> oh, well, that was certainly something. My thoughts exactly. <laughs> Anyway, that's pretty much the end of it for today, so uh, next time we get to take on level 5, which is really something. I hate you. <laughs>